Hello guys, welcome back into another video here on the driver page. We are at Kenyon County and we are going to do a uh, setup for this track. And uh, we're going to do a couple laps here and kind of show you all how we get around or how I get around this track. And then uh, I'll show you my setup. I can't believe I haven't done a uh, setup for this track yet, but... Alright guys, that's it. That's how, uh, at least that's how I drop the tracks. Alright, so the custom setup on the left front. Oh, I'm at 3.6 on the camber angle. 360 on the spring rate. The shock bump is a 3.0. The shock rebound is a 3.0. The tire pressure is an 850. Then on the right front, I'm at negative 4.5 degrees camber. 350 on the spring rate. 3.0 and 3.0 on the shock bump and rebound. Tire pressure is at 850. On the left rear, I'm at 260 on the spring rate. 3.0 on the bump. 3.5 on the uh, shock rebound. On the rebound on the left rear, if you want to free it up a little more getting in the corner, just up that shock rebound and it'll, it'll let the car turn in the corner a little better. If it's too tight for you getting in the corner, then you could up the shock rebound and it'll free the car up getting in the corner a little more if you want that. Uh, tire pressure is an 8.0 or 8 pounds. Uh, spring rate on the right rear is a 280. 3.0 on the shock bump. 3.0 on the shock rebound. Tire pressure is at 11. Um, and tire stagger is at 0. Then the same thing on my left and rear weight. I'm always maxed out on the left weight and the cross weight. Right height's at 0. Uh, 20 on the frame, 11 on the axle as far as the J-bar. Right height's at zero, and my rear weight's at 54. Uh, the gear ratio for the rear is a 520. And of course, like always, I'm at 30 on my wheel lock. Uh, no steering offset, and I'm on the soft tire compound. So that's the setup, guys. I hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.